Powerhouse, presented by Alliant Energy. Alliant Energy, we're on for you. You may have heard that reducing the hardness of your home's water can improve its quality. But did you know water softeners can also help you save energy? Today we're here at Culligan Water Conditioning with Mark Dobbins to learn more about how water softeners work. And Mark, we know hard water can be hard on our clothes, on appliances, and, and even on our plumbing. So describe hard water. What is it? Okay, hard water peat is any water that has an elevated level of mineral, primarily calcium, magnesium, manganese, iron. What a water softener is going to do is take those minerals out of the water, replace them with inert sodium or potassium ions, giving you what we call soft water, a water that won't form a scale, won't react with chemical soaps and cleaners, giving you a cleaner water for use throughout the home. Mark, how do we know if we have hard water? That's a great question. Any municipal supplier water would be able to give you a copy of their water test to let you know what is in your water. If you're on well water, you can contact any local reputable water conditioning company and they can test your water for you and give you a report on what's in the water. Okay, so I know you've got some examples here. Can you show us a little bit about what, how hard water affects some of the things around the house? You betcha. The average hardness of water throughout the U.S. is about 10 grains hard. Um, one of the things we have here, Pete, is two mason jars with water. Both these waters are actually from the same source, 10 grain hard water, this one was untreated from the city. This one has been run through a Culligan water softener. And what you're going to notice, and they've both had soap added to them, is when you shake them up, the hard water, the untreated water, will not suds up. With soft water, the soap will suds. It'll lift the dirt out of your clothes, leaving your clothes laying in clean water underneath. So when they rinse, they rinse a lot cleaner. Clothes washed in soft water use about 75% laundry soap than on hard water, and the clothes tend to get a lot cleaner. Now in terms of, so how does uh, water softeners, how does it work then, the process? Okay, water softening is a very simple chemical process, what they call ion exchange. What a water softener does is it has tiny little resin beads in it. These resin beads are saturated with sodium chloride or potassium chloride ions. As the water passes over the resin beads, the calcium, almost like a magnet, it pulls the calcium out of the water, puts a sodium in the water. The sodium or potassium remains inert. It will not form a soap scum or a soap scale with laundry soap. It will not precipitate and form a hardness scale on your appliances or your water heater. Oh, no, you've got a water heater behind you. Can you show us that? Because I know that's very dramatic. You betcha. Th this is a water heater that we actually got out of a customer's home. What you're going to find is inside a water heater, the calcium, that hardness mineral, because of the extreme heat of the water heater, wants to start to settle out or precipitate. And if you look in that little jar we have, Pete, you can actually see stuff that flaked out of the water heater. That is just rock, completely dissolved in the water when it first enters the home, but because of the extreme heat, it starts to settle out. That rock starts to build up inside the water heater, either on the electric elements themselves or on the bottom of the water heater, and that's where you start to see the energy loss because of the hard water. Well, again, again, as we talk about energy consumption, so I've got to use more energy, right, to heat my water. Exactly. There's some well-known studies out there, one from the Water Quality Association, New Mexico State University did a study on energy consumption on hard water. And what they find is about, um, the energy consumption is about 30% higher on a hard water supply than it is with soft water. Basically, that hard water starts to scale up on the heating element itself. Matter of fact, Pete, I'm going to reach okay. here and show you. This is a heating element we pulled out of a customer's water heater after a few months, but the scale builds up on that element. Now the heating element has to heat the rock first, then the water. Like I said, you'll see an average 30% higher energy usage because of that scale buildup. Okay. You also see a shorter life to the water heater itself because of that. So again, that's where that water softener benefit comes in. Exactly. By removing the scale from the water, you don't get the scale buildup on the heating element. You don't see the energy consumption increase. That 30% energy increase on our electric water heater here, it was rated to use about $420 worth of electricity per year. Saving 30% can quickly put $150 back in your family budget just by having soft water in the home. Mark, what about in terms of uh, water softeners, costs? Okay, it's a great question. 
Now the average water softener will only draw about one cent worth of electricity per year to, or I'm sorry, per month to operate. The equipment itself, you can rent the equipment. Average cost runs about $19 per month. A lot of our customers choose to invest in their equipment for about $900 to $1,200. It's a very affordable solution that solves a lot of problems around the home. And when we look at what we can save on the water heater, the wear and tear on your dishwasher, any water using appliance, housekeeping, it makes a huge difference. Energy conservation, that's what we're all about here on Powerhouse. Mark Roberts, a lot of great information. Thank you, Mark. You betcha. Thank you, Pete.